Hey, this is Court Rye with electricbikereview.com. I'm here at Interbike and we ran into the new Vinci folks. So this is Al and he's going to tell us a little bit about the product and then relate it to e-bikes. Sure. Our product is called New Vinci N360 and that's a CVT for bicycles. So it replaces derailers and gear hubs. Now it's CVT. Continuously variable transmission. Thank you, yeah. So you don't have specific gear steps. You're infinite between your low and your high and your transmission ratio. It's seamless in between. You can shift under load and you can pretty much um, be in the gear you want to be and never be out of gear. Okay. You know, I've seen a number of different setups with electric bikes. Some that have like a rear hub motor, some that have a front. And then there's also sort of that mid-drive system. And it seems like because those rely on your your crank setup and, and the gears that the cyclist is using, the new Vinci can really be a benefit there. Is that true? Sure. Any, anytime you sum the electric motor power from the center bracket motors and the human power back to the wheel, we do a very good job of handling that combined torque and power. Okay. In fact, we think we are the best drive train for you guys. Um, simply put, that an electric motor is seamless, and the rider likes that. Um, you introduce gears to electric bike, um, they stop using the individual gears as much because it interrupts power. With a CVT like Da Vinci, you don't, you're not forced to interrupt the power. You don't have to make new choices. And it's seamless like for a Okay, so the, the one trade-off that I, I see is, is that might add a little bit of extra weight. You know, is that true? What, can you talk about the weight we're, of this? We're comparable to the eight-speed hubs out there in weight. A couple hundred gram difference. You would not notice it when you hold both products really? in your hand. That's not too bad. Let alone on a bike, no. We, yeah. We've dramatically reduced the weight. We've improved the product uh, over time. And so, yes, we're, we're comparable. Interesting. And then, you know, especially as I've ridden electric bikes around, um, you know, you've got the chain like potentially kind of hitting the hitting the rim and, yep. and hitting your uh, your chain stays in the back, uh, and it seems like y your chain might be tighter with, with this sort of setup. Is that um, true? Or is it's, it not? it's no more tighter than any other geared hub out there. We don't have the chain line movement that a derailleur might have. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the derailleur is going to have the chain move in and out. We don't have that, so that's one more advantage to go with an internal CVT like you mentioned. Hey, what kind of maintenance do these things require? There's no maintenance to the hub itself. You've got a two cable system that goes back to the hub on a manual shifting system. And so obviously you have to adjust that like any other cable system. But yeah. the hub itself is sealed for life, so there's no maintenance required. And in lifetime, what is that? Or what is well, you know, we warranty the product like everyone else for two years. Uh, but we have people that have spent 12,000 miles a year riding the new Vinci bikes every year. We had an electric bike, um, the wash motor, the German brand high bike. Uh, an adventure tourist go around Australia for 18,000 kilometers. No issues. Just wow. this past year. That's awesome. So, so can you show us the shifter and you know? Sure. Um, this is actually the auto shifting system. Um, oh, wow. So we can start there. It's called Harmony. Okay. And if you come back over to the back of the hub, yeah. There's um, seats down. Harmony to the user has um, a controller like our manual system and this is actually managing your pedal cadence so how fast you want to pedal you set it and once you're comfortable there the back of the hub has a computer and a shift uh, motor and it's reading the speed of the hub through a sensor we know the speed of the vehicle so we know the cadence you want and it shifts automatically seamlessly for you wow. so that's our auto shifting system called new Vinci harmony and it works with the N360 transmission. We also have a manual cable shift system as well. And, and there was one other electric bike setup you said you had. Can we walk over? Right, and check that out? we can walk over to the Kalakoff bike that's okay. from Europe. So this is a European bike brand, Kalakoff, which has a Panasonic motor and battery, mid mount drive with the Nuvinci M360 transmission and with Harmony. So again, Harmony is the auto shifting system. Yeah. And like I said before, you're, you're dialing in your cadence how fast you want to pedal. But the advanced rider controller here has two modes. Pressing this button then takes you to a manual control of the transmission only by wire. Yeah, okay, wow. So this has those two modes. And I'm used to seeing this sort of hill animation thing with your right. manual we, system. We, right. we started with the hill mode to show people you can be in a tall gear or a small gear, but you don't have to talk gears or numbers to people. So on Harmony, the manual mode allows you to shift across the ratio electronically very quickly, and it gives you like a sport mode compared to the cadence control, pedal speed mode, and so forth. 
And if you go over to our manual shifting system, this is not a pedal bike, but it's also very common to put on an e-bike. The manual is a cable system, and again, the rider doesn't need to know what gear they're in. The hill shows them they're in a small gear, the flat is a tall gear. It's very intuitive. You shift more actively. You don't have to choose between gear steps that are unevenly spaced. We're infinitely seamless. So. How long has uh, New Vinci been around, and, and can you talk a little bit about pricing also? Sure. Uh, the company was founded uh, about eight and a half years ago. Fallbrook Technologies is the name of the company. Okay. And New Vinci is our brand. And we've been in the bike business for about five years. Uh, we've been uh, actively involved in Europe, in North America, and Asia. And so, from our standpoint, the bicycle drive chain was our very first product. We've recently just announced um, use of the technology in the heavy truck and bus field and automotive fields. So it's going to be moving up in size of vehicle. And then pricing for a uh, manual shift system with New Vinci, if you were to buy from your bike dealer, a consumer will pay about $399 for the manual shift system. Well, like the upgrade from the, in addition to the bike? Yes, the right. Or, or you can get it brand new on a bike like this, Breezer Beltway. Um, the MSRP on this is uh, $15.99. Is this one called a Beltway because it's got a belt drive? Right. It's also using the Gates Carbon Drive in addition to the New Inchi transmission, which is another good combination of technologies for e-bikes as well. So you kind of avoid the rust. You avoid that, that slapping sound I was you talking about. have a quiet, about. seamless drive. To quiet, seamless. That's what I love. Electric bikes are quiet and seamless. They are. So this yeah. is a good, a good combo of that. Um, Anything else I'm missing here? Any other trivia that you want to share with us? Just get on it and try it. Um, you'll smile. Are you guys inspired by Leonardo da Vinci? Is that well, we, we honored him with our brand name. He was an inventor of mechanical devices and tried to make the human machine uh, interaction better. So yeah. we honored him. There you go. Pretty cool products. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it.